here in Ohio. We're entering Severe Weather Awareness Week. We've already seen our share of severe weather in the Buckeye State this year. Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ben Gelber tracked two tornado events in late February and early March. And Ben, I got to see the damage from one of those tornadoes up close and personal. Yeah, and uh, Kyle, you know how destructive these storms can be even with narrow funnels. This week, we will be stressing the importance of understanding the difference between a tornado watch, which means conditions are right for a possible tornado or damaging winds, and a warning, which means seek shelter immediately because a tornado has been sighted, like this storm uh, moving uh, through uh, portions of the southern states earlier this winter, or indicated by rotation on Doppler radar. The storm season got off to a fast start this year with 168 tornadoes in January, the second most on record for the month. We had two tornado outbreaks in Ohio, as Kyle was referencing several weeks ago, uh, four tornadoes on February 27th, including touchdowns near Orient and this narrow funnel that came down near Middletown in the southwest. Four more storms on March 3rd included an EF1 tornado with 100 mile per hour winds that you can see uh, traveling 14 miles just to the west of Hillsboro. This is the week you should build a severe weather kit if you don't already have one and create a plan in your household in case of severe weather. On Wednesday morning at 9.50, a statewide tornado drill will test emergency and sheltering plans and sirens for communities. Households are, of course, always encouraged to participate as well, and schools will be doing so. In other words, you need to know where to go if you don't have a basement, lowest floor, uh, with as many walls between you and the outside as possible, including bathrooms and closets are the sturdiest.